In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to bring a color board into your project, but not as a full screen color board or as partial screen rectangle or square. We'd like to show you how to bring it in as a parallelogram or a trapezoid. This might be something you would use perhaps in the lower third. Before, I thought the only way you could do this was to create the figure outside of PowerDirector, but that's not necessarily the only option you have. Let me show you what we mean. We have a movie here, and it's basically a painted desert. And let's assume we want to add a lower third. So what we'll do is we'll click on the media content at the top and choose the second option down, which is color boards. We could create any color we want. I'll use one of the options that's already here and we'll take the orange and drag it down to track two. So it will overlay what we have in track number one. Then we'll stretch it out and make it match the duration of our clip. Now we're going to edit that. I can press the F2 key or double click. Either one will get me into my PIP designer. I want you to notice that I've put the grid on my PIP Designer here. You do that by clicking on the lower right below the preview screen and you can choose Snap to Reference Guide or Grid Lines and I've chosen the Grid Lines here. I'll show you why in a moment. The other thing we want to do is on the object settings on the left side all for my color board I'm going to uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio. That will allow me to take my color board and drag up from the bottom without also changing the width and then down from the top. And it snaps to my grid lines. We'll make it not quite full screen. We'll shorten it to this length. Now right now we have a rectangle. We've shown previously ways in which you can use this with the lower third. But now we're going to show you some changes. What I'd like to do in this case is I'd like to amplify this and move in and not click on the little white ball at the corner but move the mouse in slightly and then I get an arrowhead and then a four-sided arrow behind it on top of the blue box. If I take that and drag it to the right it will snap at the grid line. I can move it anywhere I wanted but I want to snap it at the grid line, move it perfectly horizontally and now I have a trapezoid. It's a trapezoid because the top and bottom are parallel but the left and right are not. Now if I wanted a parallelogram I would also go to the lower right corner and drag it so that the left and right are parallel as well as the top and bottom. And so those are the options that I have. I'm going to undo the last move here and we'll leave it with a trapezoid. Now if I wanted to move this onto the screen as a lower third I could do it just like that but what I'd like to do in this case is modify the border of it. I'm going to click on the border tool and now I have a nice white outline. I could leave it like that or if I want to be a little fancier I could go from uniform color to a two color gradient. Maybe we use a white on the top and perhaps something a gray on the bottom and that would change it, the look and feel of it a little bit. Let's leave it like that. We can also change the si size of the border. We can add a little blur to the border. We can make it less opaque. Um, we can invert the gradient direction uh, from up and down of the any eight points in the compass that we so prefer. And so we have our color board that's a trapezoid with a border. And we'll use this to bring in a title in this particular case. So what I'm going to do is I like it where it is. We will move into the keyframe settings. And I'll go in approximately two seconds here. And then I like that where it is. So I'll set a keyframe on the position scale at two seconds. I'll move back to the beginning. And I'm going to watch the location of my object. It's the Y coordinates is 812. I'll drag to the right and off the screen. And I want to make sure it's 812 on the Y. That way it will come in perfectly horizontally. That looks fine. And so I'll click OK. 
go to back to my movie preview here and play it and we will see the color board come in and it looks good so far so let's add a bit of text like we might do in the real world we'll click on our title tool I'll drag down some text I don't want the text to start before two seconds because that's when my color board is in place and I can lengthen it to the length of the other objects I have on the screen and we'll get into our text designer by double clicking on that or pressing the F2 key let's change it we'll call it painted desert And then we'll change the size of it. We could change some other features to it. We could add a background, make it italic. Okay, for the text, we'll just add one more feature here of all the ones that we could pick from. Let's decide that we will give it a bit of a shadow. And we'll change the distance down to one just short of one so here we have a title that pops in now I'm going to click on OK we'll go back to the beginning of our project click on movie and we'll play it our title comes in and it says painted desert all of this done without any external programs creating anything but completely within CyberLink PowerDirector